Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. This was an impromptu video that I decided to film. As I said in another video, I have been trying to post something around every two weeks, uh, not to stretch myself too thin as I have a full-time full -time job as well. But that being said, as I received some goodies that I bought a while ago, I thought it was a good opportunity to share also. Since it's the first time I buy things from this seller. So I hope you enjoy it to be a um, quite short video because I don't have a lot of things to, to show. But I hope you like it. Um, I'll take the opportunity also to ask if you like my content to please like the video, uh, share and follow. So it will help me to get a bit more visible on YouTube and grow my, my channel and bring you more interesting things. And that's it. I hope you like uh, today's uh, mini haul. So let's uh, start i have here some paints that i bought from a seller called hungry for paint she's on instagram um it's uh, she's uh, in poland and she has also a channel here on youtube where um, she has lots of videos talking about pigments and testing different paints including hers and she has very nice uh, uh, watercolors. I have um, seen her work for a while. I hadn't uh, bought anything before, but she's very knowledgeable and they have beautiful colors. So here's the Instagram. I'm gonna link down below also, but if you're interested. So here she has like uh, some quick tips of, about the paints. If the wrapper sticks to the paint, pop the paints in the freezer for 5 to 10 minutes before unwrapping. That's a good tip. Uh, it happens a lot to if usually Roman small paint, that they get a bit sticky depending on the, the paint and depending on um, the pigment rather, or depending on the day and the conditions, the weather conditions has been quite warm here for Dublin standard so it's possible I hope not because I would like to show you now and uh, what else before painting add a drop of water on top of the pen and let it sit there for a minute that is also uh, usual with um, handmade watercolors they can be a bit drier compared to um, the commercial uh, ones and what else? Never store wet paints to prevent mold. Um, cracking in our bubbles might occur and are normal. And keep away for small from small children and pets. Do not eat. <laughs> That's a funny one. Yeah, I don't have children or pets, but I confess that I feel a bit like I'm unwrapping candy sometimes when I receive this uh, watercolor. So that's fun and. Um, let me put this aside a bit. I'll show you here. I bought a set called uh, Marinero. It's a set of four colors. And I believe it cost me around... Uh, the, co the cost was $40. Um, you can also change the currency on the website. So $40 for these four paints. Um, what else? It's currently sold out on her website, but I'll leave the the link below anyways because sometimes she brings back um, sets that did well in the past. This one, for example, she had released the first time a few months ago. I didn't uh, buy at that time, but um, I, I follow her on Instagram and then she re-released it now, so that's how I got it. She has other sets as well. Uh, some are available still and she's always releasing new sets so if you want to know when she's releasing and which type of paints uh, she's releasing or even maybe get in touch with her 
uh, if she was, she intends to re-release this set, uh, just uh, follow her on Instagram. I think it's the easiest way um, to see what she's up to. So these are the four uh, colors I got from this set, Marinero. I have here the information of the colors. So there is like a deep teal that she calls um, the deep. Then a lighter one called the shallows, a green um, algae and a kind of a more ochre called the shore. And here on the website, uh, you can see the photos. They are all granulating and separating colors. Handmade with pigment, gamma arabic, pure water, locally produced honey, and natural essential oils. Okay, so apart from these ones that I got, um, she also very generously included a lot of samples. I will show you here the samples. So there is green nerf cool. And uh, some of them are really indeed sticking to the paper. And then Midnight Forest. Uh, ah, look, this one called Bark. And she put a note returning soon. So that's nice to know that, as I said, some of them will be returning. Ah, this one as well, actually, Midnight Forest coming soon so this maybe is a new release what else antique green earth uh, and foliage a lot of greens um i think i saw her mentioning on uh, instagram that she's really into greens you can see that and this is pink rocus So yeah, looking forward to, to trying these as well. So I'm going to start opening them. I'll try to... Um, maybe I'll speed up this uh, part of the video so <laughs> I don't have to wait too much. Here are the colors, they look really nice already like this. I have to say, they smell amazing. As soon as I open them, um, not even being too close to them, I could feel this um, smell. I'm not sure if it's clover oil or something of that sort, but they are really aromatic. This kind of smells like uh, herbs and, and things. So really nice two of them were a bit stickier uh, it was the the deep and the shore but nothing major as you could see i easily peeled off the protective paper i suppose if you are in a warmer climate it may be the case to put in the freezer as she recommended but yeah so now I'm going to be swatching them. I have here a ceramic palette, my water. And I think that to swatch to swatch these, I think I'm going to use this paper here. I may have showed in a previous video or not. I think it was in one of the orders I got a while ago from either Craftelier or Aquarelle Pencil. I don't remember which store, but they sent me this um, 
Canson uh, paper. So I thought that it's strange though because now I'm noticing it looks like yeah, it's here it says to try it on the, on the other side. But it's funny because it looks like the the right side of the paper is this one, so particular. But yeah, I'll try the other side to, to test this and also the samples she sent. And I thought it would be fun. And I hope I don't regret this. But I thought it would be fun to try and and swatch them using this brush that I used in my previous video. If you haven't seen, I'm gonna leave a card here. It's uh, a video where I um, painted some botanical inspired leaves using um, granulating colors and um, colero metallic colors. This is the piece I painted on the video. And I used this brush for that. It was quite fun to use. It's a sword brush by Rosemary & Co. I'll leave a link also if you are interested. It's a nice brush to, um, for fine, very fine details and also to, to paint leaves. I'm still getting used to using it though, so it's not always that they come out nicely, but I'll try my best. So I'll try, I think, to paint some leaves with these colors and see uh, how it goes. So I'm back. I, as she recommended, I dropped a few uh, droplets of water on the pants. I also put a bit of light in here because uh, today there's a bit of a um, it's a bit between cloudy and sunny so uh, it's possible that the lighting will change as I am filming here with natural light coming from my skylight but uh, let's hope uh, you can see well the colors and that's it so now I'm gonna try um, I think I'm gonna start with the deep that is this one here this dark teal i put them here on the tray because then if i splash i don't get my my desk messy i usually use a a plastic cover to avoid this type of thing but i decided to remove it today so with this brush i try to really roll the belly of the brush onto the paint to get a good leaf shape from the beginning let's hope i get it it's a bit hard for me to film and um, while i'm painting and talking at the same time so i hope it goes well let's try I'll do one here. It's a beautiful color. Really like it. It's kind of a in between a blue and a green. It's really more towards green, I would say. This leaf, <laughs> this leaf is just terrible. <laughs> it's getting worse. I'm trying to somehow save it, rescue it. I cannot get it right all the time. But it's okay because it's just a, a test and leaves i can it's okay no don't get it all the time perfectly shaped because it's nature so 
there are leaves that are crooked okay it's a bit better now let's try again oh i don't know if you can see that uh maybe i'll try zooming in let's see Look at this, the color, you can see the, the different colors already on the paint, on the palette, so it's very fun. She has a lot of uh, paints with this effect of color separation and granulation. Maybe I'll try to extend it a bit here. We can get another leaf. It's fun because they also get... I um, don't know if it's showing on the video, but I'll... I'll show it uh, close, um, closely once it's uh, dry, so you can see better, but already now I can see different tones uh, on, on the leaves. There are some that are a bit more uh, greenish, others have a yellow tint to them which is quite unusual to have this type of mix of colors teal and, and yellow but yeah it's a really nice paint that's how it looks like when it's wet I hope you can see well so you can see that this one here is a bit more yellowish also this one at the top and these are a bit more on the blue side let's see how they will dry it's also a color very unusual i don't i don't think i have any color similar to that i think i thought that it had white because it has kind of this pastel color but it doesn't look very creamy it looks more on the transparent side so let's see how it goes so now i'm gonna swatch the shallows uh, let me take the excess here so Wow, very nice color. Beautiful blue. And this smell, again, is just so good. They smell like herbs. Or essential oils, actually. My plant here got quite thick. I think I had too much water on the brush. Have to practice more with this brush to get the hang of it. But it's fun using it. You can get this kind of shapes like leaf, leaf, um, what's going on? <laughs> Leaves that are a bit f folded or <laughs> or chubby leaves like this one these are really nice colors 
this is very unique this uh, this blue I have um, I didn't see pigment information for this uh, I don't believe she discloses it but I think that they are light fast I'm gonna maybe do some tests and here put on my wall there's a lot of sun coming in in the afternoon now so I can <clears throat> see even though it's not super sunny here in Dublin I get quite a lot of sun during summer here with this window so I can try some tests so yeah these are the shallows it's a very beautiful light blue hopefully she will um, release again this set so you can you can buy it I know myself that I get really frustrated when I see things on videos and people are showing and then I can go I can't go and buy it because they are sold out or they're not available so I apologize for that I I bought it a while ago like I said and it, it sold out also a while ago because I, I suppose that she doesn't release them in big quantities but I think it is possible that she would sell them again since this was the second time in any case she always has beautiful paints she had another set called Globe Trotter there um, she had different um, editions and uh, the last one she released was Globe Trotter Italy and it was really really beautiful I was between this one and the Globe Trotter Italy but in the end I I opted to go with this one because it had colors that I didn't already have so this one now is algae it's more of a yellow green but it has also some color separation uh, the, all of them granulate but not all of them have color separation so far only the the deep has color separation now let's see this one um, trying to remove the excess not to get a, a fat plant again okay let's see beautiful green if you like granulation in paints you should definitely follow her because she's also a fan of granulation so she frequently includes paints that have granulation in her sets It's funny because I didn't buy any uh, of the super granulating sets from Schmincke. I bought just a few separate uh, colors. I got, uh, I actually got um, the pigments rather that uh, were used to make the super granulating pants. I had some and some I got, so I mixed them myself to see if I could arrive to the same result. Some of them were quite similar, um, some of them a bit less. I thought it was a, um, more versatile to have the single pigment than to have the mix. But in this case, they are so unique that I would not have a clue on how to mix these this light blue for example i have no idea what are the pigments on it it doesn't look super opaque like pastel type of watercolor so and it's also granulating and I, 
on top of that, I like to support also uh, artists that make hand paint, um, handmade watercolors. I like to to buy handmade paints. They have always a a different feel to them when you paint. I have uh, many many colors of a brand called Red Clover Meadow as well. It's um, a seller located in Bulgaria, I think. And yeah, I bought many colors from them and they're beautiful. I can show another day in another video some of these uh, colors. So yeah, this, this uh, green here, algae, definitely has color separation. I can see on the paper, I can see on the palette, it's very preeminent. It's um, blue and yellow. And it's really nice oh, approach here. You can see here the, the color variation on, on the palette. Really happy with this uh, with this set. I'm looking forward to using. I'm not sure if I would use all of them in the same paint, in the same uh, painting. Sorry. Maybe depending on what I'm painting, but I like also mixing, uh, granulating, and separating colors with more. Um, solid colors like so they can really shine you know when you mix a bit then they they feel more special i guess <clears throat> so now I'm, I'm gonna swatch the last one that's um what was the name of the last one i forgot about it um uh, the shore, yeah, this type of ochre. Let's see. I tend to mumble a little when I started filming these videos. Apologize for that, I'm trying to keep focused. So let's see here, the shore. It's a nice ochre. trying to hard not to paint my desk at the same time because I'm really close to the border of the page here. Dangerously, dangerously close actually. I need to really take a big piece of paper one day and just paint leaves until I get a hang of uh, using this brush, but I'm enjoying it. It's fun to try new things. Uh, I mentioned in my last video that I bought this quite a while ago, actually years ago, but I don't know, I never used it, I think, because it's, I don't know if you have the same thing, but you buy the the, the good supplies, and then the 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 cheap supplies that you don't mind using it. And then, at least for me, I keep like treasuring these uh, more expensive supplies. That to the point that I get a bit intimidating. Uh, gets a bit intimidating to use them. It's like I'm not worth it. Of using this great brush which is ridiculous because I will never learn how to use it if I know if I don't try you know but yeah so now I'm trying to get over it <laughs> and just and just use it otherwise why did I buy it for you know 
not like I'll magically become an expert painter of leaves or something. So, yeah. It's a nice combination of colors. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I'm just randomly painting shapes to show the color better. So, yeah, this is the shore. And it smells amazing. <laughs> it smells so good. So now that I finished with the set Marinero, I think I'm going to try and paint on the same um, on the same uh, sheet of paper the um, the sample colors that she sent. I'll paint maybe just one leaf for each so hopefully they will fit inside so let's see now i'm painting bark that is one that she's saying that is returning soon so it should be a brown yeah reminds me a bit of uh, Van Dyke Brown. We'll see. Now I'm gonna put them here. Okay, so here we go. So this is a uh, barb. I don't know why I complicate my life so much swatching like this, but I thought it would be more interesting for you to see maybe than just random blobs and would uh, allow me to practice a bit more with this brush. Now what I'm going to try, I'll try the pink one, pink rocus and let's see. Nice pink, looks a bit like um, mm, not really sure. It looks like it's a granulating pink. Is it returning now or new? Not sure. There's nothing mentioned here. Looks like a magenta, but with a bit of granulation, maybe blue granulation. I really like it. Let's see. Try not to put my hand on the wet paint here. Mm. Really nice color. Maybe you hear in the background I have the the wind banging on my window here. Yeah, definitely there's some granulation like purplish type of granulation. really beautiful I would definitely buy this uh, if she sells it uh, separate or if it's on a set and it has other interesting colors I think that's a nice color to have uh, you can see more also here on the on the little sample you can see that there's all this blue granulation looks a bit like um, ultramarine violet or French ultramarine. 
so now we have uh, four greens so let's see first one is green earth cool that's a color that i i find uh really nice i don't like green earth warm really i bought it um a while ago i think when i was just uh, in the beginning of my collection i was curious and i bought the sennelier one and i really dislike it because not because the brand is bad but the pigment itself it's uh, very weak and very gummy so it's hard to get sorry i made a bit of a mess here so it's hard to get um a nice coverage and i'm not talking about granulation or separation it's just gummy it's like uh, painting um with paints that have binder issues but this one looks nice take some more it's a bit dry my brush I think this color looks a bit also like um, a watercolor I have from Red Clover Meadow that it's called Nicosia Green. I think there are other brands that name uh, this tone like this. I, I'm not sure if it's the same pigment, but it's very similar. It's a bit... Um, a, more of a weak pigment but very natural looking light makes me think a bit of uh, eucalyptus leaves or sage maybe so that's green earth cool what else i still have three of them <laughs> let's hope they'll fit i have Antique Green Earth. Maybe this is the yellow one. Let's see. Mm. This looks um, more like a brown or a taupe. Yeah, brownish. I'm still dropping paint everywhere. Okay, so this is Antique Green Earth. I'll try starting from here now to see if it goes better. This is really light pigment, type of a taupe. I can see how this would be useful to paint like animals or stones, quite natural looking, very organic type of pigment. I usually don't use a lot of uh, colors like this. I mean, I'm always attracted by more um, I don't know brighter colors or more pigmented like these they, even though they're like muted you know it's uh i'm not super into earth tones but it's nice to have this type of tone also to mix with other other paints otherwise if everything is too bright maybe you get lost you know you don't know where to look at so it's, it's good to have something to to rest the eye now i have another tool let's see foliage oh wow that's the type of green that i love yes this one is returning soon that's good to know <laughs> It's a really nice and bright olive green. Look at this. 
love it. Look at this beautiful. I love this type of green. Usually this type of green has always some, um, I mean, probably can make with other pigments, but uh, it is, sometimes it has like a nickel azo yellow. That's what gives this kind of uh, brilliant uh, type of yellow tone. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's the case here, but yeah, this is a really nice color. And I love olive green and green golds. This was my favorite so far out of the, the samples. This is really bright, beautiful green. Let's see. Uh, the last one now is Midnight Forest. This one must be nice also. So let's see. Oh, it's totally different from what I expected. I was expecting a kind of uh, blue green, very dark, like a perlene green or something. Instead, it's more of a grayish green or greenish gray. We'll see. It's a nice color as well. And I cannot get over the smell of these paints. Oh my god, I don't know if you are like me, but I'm really into like <laughs> smells and things like a book, new book smell and um, essential oils and I have some dried lavender here. So these paints are just so nice to use. And it has a nice granulation as well, this tone. Um, still not sure which type of... Uh, looks like a mix between a type of... I would say raw umber, greenish umber and grey. But we'll wait until it dries and then I'll come back and show you all of them. I'm gonna name them, uh, name them now. And then I'll come back when they are dry. So I'm back. I let the paint uh, dry a little. I also added some detail to look more like leaves and less like just random shapes. So these are the colors. We have here um, the deep. I'm trying to get really close so you can see. The color separation you can see a bit here here you can see a bit kind of the yellow then we have the shallow I noticed that when I, I was writing the names there's a very light tint of yellow on it really nice it's very discreet so i don't know if you can s on camera it will show but it's a really beautiful color then we have algae that is this mix between bright yellow and a kind of more uh, melted blue granulating blue so you can see color separation and granulation and the last one is uh, the shore is this um, ochre so now here we have bark pink rocus also nice granulation here green earth cool antique green earth 
foliage and midnight forest and i have to say this one really surprised me i didn't expect it <laughs> when i just painted it it looks like just grayish or brownish but it has a really beautiful granulation and different colors it's really really beautiful I'll, I'll try to zoom in from the camera to see if if it shows better can you see here you have like different tones and the granulation is just beautiful so here it is these are my swatches for the paints i got from hungry for for paint I really love them, they smell really amazing, <laughs> I won't get tired of repeating that, they really smell good and uh, I think my favorite um, of all of these ones that I tried would be the shallows because it's such an unusual, very light blue without being pastel and opaque uh, with white it has also some texture to it and I, like I said, can see a very faint yellow, uh, but really, really light. Um, only here that I, I had a, a bit more paint, I can see that, but it's really discreet, so super nice. And uh, from these ones here that she sent me the sample for, actually... I changed my mind. I think my favorite is Midnight Forest because it's such a unique color. It's uh yeah, it for me it's it, the type of um color that uh, like um a schmink super granulating um paints, you know. You have granulation, you have color shifts and it's just very unique like I I something I wouldn't know how to mix myself for sure if I was to to try and I took the opportunity now that I was waiting for this uh, to dry I went to check again her website and her Instagram so she still has some uh, other sets available on her website um, as of now um, Wednesday at 7 15 Dublin time so she said she has some some sets still available and uh the the best part is sorry for that i was uh, a bit over excited and then i i moved around too much and the 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 camera start sh started shaking so what i was saying is really exciting is she's releasing a new set this sunday <laughs> i didn't i didn't do on uh, purpose to do that just before she releases a new set it was just convenient that i i received these paints this week so if you want to have a chance to get this um, new set she will be releasing uh, go to her website sign up for the newsletter or follow her on instagram it's a beautiful set it's called um midsummer and part of this set is this beautiful midnight foliage here here you can see really well what i'm talking about the color the colors and the, the granulation is really really a beautiful color and this is one of i believe it's a six uh, color set this one a uh, midsummer so yeah it's a uh, it's really nice and you can go on uh, on the instagram and check the colors individually she's posting um close-ups of um, the colors being swatched and there's also a little bit of history behind each of the colors the her inspiration and uh, very interesting to see so yeah i hope you liked it i hope um, it was useful and i hope if you are interested in getting these paints you managed to grab one this weekend once you'll be releasing it and i'll see you soon bye